हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज राघवेंद्र कुमार चौधरी एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी आई एस एम धनबाद सो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अवर रिसेंट फाइंडिंग्स एक्चुअली एंड पर्टिकुलरली वी प्रोवाइडेड अ यूनिक सोल्यूशन फॉर इंटीग्रेटेड इंटरव्यू अंडर ले ऑपरेशन इन मल्टीफंक्शनल एक्टिव माइमो कॉग्नेटिव रेडियो सिस्टम फॉर फाइव जी एप्लीकेशन सो कमिंग ओवर द द प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली वॉट वी सॉल्व सो बिफोर अप्रोचिंग द प्रॉब्लम वी सॉल्व आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस द चैलेंजेस एक्चुअली बिकॉज वी डन एक्चुअली द कोर आर एफ इंजीनियरिंग सो इट रिक्वायर्स इम्पिडेंस मैचिंग आइसोलेशन एंड पर्टिकुलरली द मल्टी पर्पज फिल्टर or we'll say the multifunctional filters so all these things and uh, the matching part is one of the challenging part so we solved actually and uh, if we talk about the contribution part so we combined the multiple input multiple output and cognitive radio technologies for smart spectrum sensing for sub 6 gigahertz 5g communication which is state of art now depending upon uh, these communication schemes we can divide uh, these two things in a two parts one is a interweave and another is a underlay so on the screen you can see actually so pu stand here the primary user and su stand for the secondary user so this is actually particularly uh, the interweave communication scheme so the thing is basically these licensed users or we can say the primary users actually they are have to right to use this whole spectrums but sometimes like if you see that most like you will you will find that the the part of the spectrum is underutilized so the thing is whenever actually whenever whenever we have uh, the free space in a spectrum so that could be potentially used by the secondary user provided that we can find it out so we require a proper spectrum sensing schemes so that we can we can actually allow to the secondary user to use this unutilized spectrum where the license user not using at that time so like if you talk about the hardware actually we require the two antennas one is a wideband sensing another is a narrowband sensing so this narrowband sensing is particularly is try to find it out the space where the secondary user supposed to work actually provided that that space is free now coming over the underlay scheme actually so there is a allowed interference level so whenever actually this uh, this things this primary user actually Uh, primary user actually they are using uh, the whole license band but above the allowed interference level below that there is a uh, there is a chance actually for the secondary user to work so for that actually we require again a wideband sensing antennas as well as the band notch sensing antennas so this is actually the two different scheme we called as a interweave and underlay operation now if you see in a literature actually you will find the people provided the solution i am talking particularly in a hardware sense so they provided the hardware solution for the interview and underlay now the solution actually what uh, we have given is also a compact let's say if uh, this antennas what we are actually proposing if you compare with the traditional antennas so it will be taking the size of 35 cross 32 cm square whereas our developed antennas are using only 130 cm square so in this way we are claiming here the compactness about 80% now this is the antenna actually we develop antenna system is developed where the multifunctional filter with lumped elements you can see and the radiator section we try to integrate it on the same platform and this is actually the four port mimo cognitive radio system so the same unit cell we repeated actually we used as a 
uh, we used to construct actually this four port MIMO cognitive rotate system. So when we are placing this unit cell in this fashion, so there is a uh, there is a big hurdle actually that how to make the proper isolation. Otherwise, these unit cell will be talking each other. So here we provided a reflector based uh, the isolations scheme, so which is very efficient, efficient and providing at least 30 dB isolation here. That could be potentially the solution could be potentially used for the 5G communication and particularly we are targeting this work is targeting a sub 6 gigahertz band only. We reported this work in IEEE transaction on antenna and propagation in 2019. So like the solution what we proposed. So as per the our knowledge, the design of the cognitive radio antennas with integrated interweave underlay operations has never been discussed in literature means if you see uh, before 2019 you will find that people tried actually for uh, these hardwares for the interview or underlay operation the first time we combine these two so that simultaneously we'll get the solution for both on a single substrate and also for the first time using the single resonator both tunable band pass and tunable band reject filter has been achieved with all purpose response as well. Now here you can see actually this is the multifunctional uh, filter design and uh, that could be potentially used for uh, all pass band pass and band reject filtering response. So here you can see actually so we have uh, the different resonator you can see like uh, uh, some are circular uh, shape and some are rectangular uh, shape actually. So these are for the different purpose for let's say for the all pass band pass and the band reject filtering response and apart from this actually we used the different components okay so that we could ma make it actually the multifunctional. So we used biasing inductor, biasing stubs, vector diodes, biasing register, pin diodes and the biasing voltages. Now you can see here we use the pin diode here and also this uh, the by this uh, uh, vector diode. So by using the proper biasing scheme or uh, we can say uh, the switching conditions actually we can obtain the different different response actually. So this is not mechanically you are going to do the, all the things with electronically okay. So the filtering response we can obtain here the band pass band reject and all pass. This is uh, the fabricated one and uh, we reported this work in IEEE antennas and wireless propagation. 2019. Now talking about the uniqueness of the solutions. So here as I already mentioned that the two schemes we merged first time okay in a literature you will find this is uh, first time actually done this combination of these two schemes. So we concentrated here the band of 2.3 to 4.2 uh, gigahertz where uh, we all know the multiple countries have shown the interest in the mid band sub gigahertz network implementation and the second is actually based on the switching conditions as I uh, shown in the last slides okay because we integrated that multi multifunctional uh, uh, filtering system with the MIMO antennas so now the MIMO antenna system can operate as a vibrant antennas for sensing purpose or narrow band frequency tunable antennas for communicating purpose in interweave cognitive radio system or a wideband antenna with frequency tunable band notch for communicating purpose in underlay cognitive radio system. So all these things actually we are proposing with a single hardware okay please note it. Now uh, the proposed work may be installed at terminal points for the efficient uh, communication and here uh, we would like to show here uh, the developed one. So these are the two one there is a four port MIMO cognitive radio system. So this is the first one, this is the first actually uh, the developed system in a lab and this is the second one actually here. So here particularly the benefit is that we got the size reduction of about 43% uh, and recently actually we developed the airport system also. So these all the work we reported in very reputed journal in antenna engineering or particularly in microwave engineering IEEE transaction on microwave theory and techniques in 2021 recently we published and uh, the first work uh, we reported in 2019 in IEEE transaction on antenna and propagations. 
Now, talking about the readiness of the technology actually. So, as I shown the prototypes and the this thing, so this technology is experimentally verified in the lab conditions and that could be potentially use, utilized further as per the current demands of the wireless industries. So, finally, we, we, uh, we developed the three prototypes and we tested in a lab. The trials actually has been taken with developed device from 2.3 to 4.2 uh, gigahertz which is a sub 6 gigahertz 5G bands and here you can see these are the, some of the results actually. So these are the all the measured result and for this fabricated prototype. So here you can see particularly uh, input reflection coefficient we, uh, we placed here and this first one is a particularly for the sensing antennas this is for the interview cognitive radio communicating antennas third one is underlay cognitive radio communicating antenna so here depending upon the switching conditions okay we can we can choose actually uh, uh, we can we can use as per the as per the requirement these things now talking about the impact of the project on the industry or society so they like i'm 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 particularly talking about the smart uh, spectrum sharing techniques so surely because we we clubbed with the mimo technology so this efficient use of the available spectrum plus enhanced the diversity and improved data rate so both the things are needed nowadays and uh, we, 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 we all know actually that how the spectrums, uh, these is allotted spectrums are crucial actually and how costly is this. So the smart, uh, these things, utilization of the spectrums surely will be turning point here. And also the enhanced diversity and improved data rate will be very, uh, very important for the many applications. Okay. So I believe uh, this could be uh, uh, this particular uh, 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 project actually will be useful, uh, benefited actually for uh, driverless cars because we all know we are going to use the multiple RF services here. So spectrum sharing is needed and with good uh, data rate also. And uh, we all know that smart home concept is now uh, present actually and where we using the multiple services again all these are based on the Wi-Fi services so again this is smart spectrum sharing will be a will be a, a good options actually to accommodate the number of applications and uh, that could be also will be helpful for the where the uh, density of uh, the users are very high and we, we, we want to have the wide connected network. So this 5G communication schemes are coming and particularly we, we have uh, for the sub 6 gigahertz where we can further uh, top of this technology and we can get the benefit uh, for this smart sensing technique. So thank you so much uh, for your time. And if you have any questions, you please uh, write to me. I'm surely answer all the queries. Thank you so much.